about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know hi everybody welcome to my channel my name is sandra and today we're gonna do some makeup for makeup monday we started with the jeffree star holy mist to refresh the skin next sprayed with the caudalie beauty elixir let it dry for just a little minute now i am filling in my pores with calorie so blown primer this stuff is amazing you guys kathleen lights used it last year and i've been trying to get my hands on it ever since and i finally did during my last sephora haul for foundation today i'm using the kvd sorry kvd good apple foundation balm the shade is 036 medium i'm using a brush to apply it on my cheeks today but normally i use my fingers for a more natural look uh, my skin is a little bit pink today so i'm just adding it a little bit all over just to kind of even out my skin tone I really only need coverage on my cheekbones to cover up my skin pigmentation and I try to limit the amount of foundation I use, especially in summer. Concealer, my go-to favorite right now is my Kosas Creamy Revealer Concealer. Uh, today I'm using 04 and 05, both neutral. Um, 04 is a bit brighter, so I use that for brightening techniques. Um, 05 is definitely when I've had a bit more sun and I'm blending it out with my concealer brush so it looks natural, but I do definitely need some brightening under those eyes. So to set the concealer, I am going in with another favorite. It's my Kosas Baked Powder, um, the Cloud Set Powder in the shade Feathery. I take a fairly small brush um, for under eye application, um, and really you only need powder where you put your product, um, especially if you have dry skin like me, you don't really need to overset. Um, before I used to use loose powder and it would cake on and just be so uncomfortable. For um, bronzer, I'm going in with the Kyokosis, the Sun Show Baked Bronzer, the shade is Escape, and you really have to have a light hand here because this stuff goes on so dark, um, which is good, but you just have to make sure you have a light hand, and if you do get it in, uh, you know, too big of a, or dark of a blotch, just make sure you go in with a powder brush and um, kind of dust it away. So for blush, I'm using the House Labs Color Fuse Blush shade here is Hibiscus Haze. Honestly, the name caught me. <laughs> Brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. And then to top that off to kind of let them keep their shape, I use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Freeze Gel. Um, I don't really do my brows in a specific te technique like you would see online. I just fill them in to make them look normal. Sometimes I have them darker, sometimes a bit like larger, I guess, depending on what look I'm going for. Um, but today is pretty normal and I feel like um, it was a very quick brow just to kind of define the face. And remember, brows are important to define because they kind of make your whole face. Um, they really add character to your eyes and it's just important that you define them in the right way. Okay, so next I'm going in with the shadow palette. So we're using the Jeffree Star Pricked palette. This is the first time I have touched this palette, so I'm super excited for this. And I wanted to do something chaotic. <laughs> I mean, it's Jeffree Star, right? So you have to be a little chaotic. So I started going in with the lighter orange in the crease and I think this orange ended up being a bit darker than I first thought it would be. Um, but I slowly blended it out and then I went in with a pinker shade, um, went down a little bit further in the crease to really define the eye area. So some people think that you need to have um, more of a um, neutral shade to define the crease, but if it's a colored palette, just go for it. I'm using this really bright and dark at the same time orange on the outer corner, keeping it towards the outer corner, but blending it up towards that crease. And um, I think that's kind of the star of the show, honestly. Uh, well, except until I get to the glitter. So I go in with the glitter. You'll see me go into this like peach color. Um, I guess it's a peach color with my finger. And I'm just blending out the, the dark right now. But I go in with my finger and I put this on the inner corner and I didn't like it. So I ended up taking the more gold tone and going over it with that because um, it just wasn't showing up the way I thought. So you'll see me adding it here. So honestly, I think it's like a pink almost, right? And um, I thought, oh, okay, well, that's not bad, but it's not really giving me the show-stopping Jeffree Star vibes I'm going for. So I went into the gold, <laughs> the bright gold there at the bottom. You can't miss it. 
and um, I just put that on the inner corner and that kind of made it, it kind of, this whole look screams sun vibes to me, um, kind of like setting sun vibes. So um, after I'm done shadow, uh, I ended up going in with the lower lash line to define the eye. I'm using the same brush that I had that dark orange shadow on um, and I just put it down a little bit on the outside corner just to kind of give my eye some definition. For the top lash line, I'm lining my eyes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Black Liquid Liner. Hands down, this has got to be my favorite liner of all time. I love the way the bristles are. I love the color. I love the black of it. It's just amazing. Mascara, I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which is also one of my absolute favorites. The lashes are Kella Lash 3D Full Mink, and I believe these ones are Sin City. Um, they are pretty gorgeous. To make my eyes look a little bit awake, I used the Tarte Fake Awake Liner. So it just um, pretty much opens up your eyes. Like it looks like your, you know, eyes are bigger and brighter. For highlighter, I go in with my Mary Lou by the Bomb. Again, absolute favorite. This palette, I'm hoping I can repurchase it, but I did purchase this one online like four years ago. And it has been my favorite ever since. Um, lipstick, I should have probably kept my lips neutral but i went in for red i did it you guys this is the revlon ultra hd matte lip color i do not have the name of it um but it is like the brightest almost cherry red that you can find and then i <laughs> yeah it, it's crazy so i topped it with my milani color color statement lip liner in 02 true red just to kind of define my lips and i'm going in with my spray and that is it so thank you guys so much for checking this video out i hope you enjoyed it give the video a thumbs up if you're new please subscribe click on that bell notification button and i'll see you all next time bye friends already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know